Hi everyone, my name is Saffron, and along with my sister Shreya, we are the co-founders of Lushes Against Isolation. Before we get started on this awesome party we have planned for you today, we would just like to say a huge thank you to the volunteers. When Shreya and I started Lushes Against Isolation in April of last year, many of us were feeling scared, hopeless, and isolated because the world was starting to shut down. However, I am in awe of what we've been able to achieve together as a community over the past year. We have been able to make something incredibly positive out of 2020, which was a pretty tough year for everyone. And together, we have been able to uplift seniors and spread smiles, hundreds and thousands of them around the world. It's been wonderful to be able to have such an amazing and far reaching impact on seniors we serve. One of the seniors that we serve, Hi, told us that reading the letters reminded him that someone out there loves him and is thinking of them. The letters obviously have a huge impact on the seniors that receive them. And for that, thank you volunteers for uplifting so many seniors. Thank you for that introduction, Saffron. I couldn't have said it better myself. In just one year, Letters Against Isolation has achieved so much more than we could have possibly imagined. For one, we brought together almost 15,000 people from around the world to come and spread messages of joy, hope, and togetherness in such a difficult time. You incredible volunteers have written over 175,000 letters and cards to people all over the world. That alone is an immense achievement, but you have touched over 20,000 lives in just one year. In a time where it's so easy to, to disconnect, to become isolated, to, to lose touch with people, you have made the active choice to come together and forge connections. Not only connections with the seniors you write to, but with each other in the Facebook group and on Zoom parties with our amazing volunteer coordinators. And I have been lucky enough to, to forge a real connection with my sister, Saffron, who has been the absolute best throughout this experience. So I'm so proud of the community that we've made and that you make so special, you wonderful volunteers. And without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to two very special people to sing us happy birthday, Cynthia and Denise from Care One Crestkill in New Jersey. And now we want to sing happy birthday to you, right? Right. Here we go. Right. Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to everybody, everybody, right? Everybody. Letters Against Isolation. No. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much. We love you all. Birthday Letters Against Isolation. And thank you guys for starting this amazing program. I'm so happy to be part of it. I'm having a great time writing cards and letters to seniors all across the country that are in isolation, hopefully bringing a smile to their face. And it's definitely helping me get through the pandemic. I love you guys. Happy birthday. Good evening. I am uh, Mark Scannell. I live in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I enjoy writing to the people in senior communities, especially in Minneapolis. I usually use letters, but sometimes I use this card a friend of mine created for the Serenity Prayer. I think those are sentiments that uh, seniors need to hear. Thank you. Hi, my name is Christian Davis, and this is my mom. Tanisha Davis. Letters Against Isolation has impacted me in all positive ways. Not only am I able to safely accrue volunteer hours monthly, but I'm expanding my creativity and my gift of art to seniors. I have to get creative with the traditional methods of volunteering because of the pandemic and Letters Against Isolation has allowed this to come to fruition. This opportunity has increased my self-confidence because I'm doing something good for others. Writing these letters to seniors every month gives me a sense of purpose that does not satisfy self. I am hopeful that these letters cheer them up and they look forward to receiving them, just as I look forward to writing them. Writing these letters with my son has increased our quality time, allows us to both unplug and provide an altruistic service to others. I cannot believe that a year is up on us and hope that Letters Against Isolation continues to grow and go. Happy birthday! Hi, I'm Margie from Columbus, Ohio, and I've been a member of Letters Against Isolation since July of 2020. My mother taught me at a very young age the importance of letter writing, and in particular, the importance of writing thank you notes. So I would write thank you notes to family and friends who sent me gifts to thank them not only for the gift, but also for their thoughtfulness in remembering me. Later, 
After sophomore year of high school, my family moved out of state. And in order to keep in touch with my friends, I wrote a lot of letters. And it was always so nice to hear back from my long lost friends. When the pandemic struck, I remember feeling so sorry for family members and friends who were unable to visit their loved ones in nursing homes and hospitals. Then I heard about Letters Against Isolation, and I knew immediately that this was something I wanted to do. I've been writing letters to seniors all over the country for nine months now, and I must say it brings me so much joy. I often end my letters with, I am happy to be able to write to you, to let the senior know that they are important. I'm proud to be involved in such a great organization, and I'm sure each letter received by a senior from a Letters Against Isolation volunteer brightens that person's day in more ways than we can even imagine. I plan to stay involved even after the pandemic ends. Hello, my name is Vance Goodman, and I'm the Services Coordinator at the Vanderbilt Apartments in downtown Asheville. Here we have 123 residents. We are a subsidized housing unit for folks who are on low income, aging adults, and those with disabilities. The pandemic has certainly affected each of us in many ways, and I have seen a profound impact on many of the residents at the Vanderbilt Apartments. Many do not have the technology to keep in touch and connected to those that care about them and those that they love. And so the Letters Against Isolation truly reaches them in a tangible way and lets them know that they are not forgotten and that they are important. So I want to just say thank you. Thank you so much for starting this program and thank you to all the volunteers who have written to the folks at Vanderbilt. Hi, my name is Beth Morrow. I am Development Director with Bethany Communities. We serve a population of low to moderate income seniors in Haverhill, Massachusetts. We have almost 400 residents who reside in three buildings. I'd like to thank the volunteers with Letters Against Isolation for providing us some true moments of joy for some of our seniors who needed it at uh, the most. We identified residents with the help of our resident service coordinators and our property managers, and those individuals received the over 50 cards that we have gotten in the last two months. We've feedback's been great. The residents have thanked us. Some have even posted their cards out in the hallway so that their uh, fellow community members can enjoy them too. These have been challenging times. We've had to cut back on our in-person activities and this was just one little thing that we could offer to them. We entitled the project Hello Friend and we posted notices to let all of our residents know that there might be a Hello Friend message in a mailbox waiting for them. So thank you to the volunteers for all of your effort. You definitely definitely did brighten the life of a senior through your actions. Hi, Letters Against Isolation. This is Denise Norm, the Activity Director at Care One Creskill in Creskill, New Jersey. And me and one of the residents are here. This is Cynthia. Hi. Hi. And we're gonna thank you guys and wish you a very happy birthday. We were contacted around Valentine's Day and since Valentine's Day, we've re received over hundreds of letters. And I just can't believe they keep coming and coming and coming. Sometimes I have enough to hand out to everybody. Sometimes I save some for when people need to be cheered up. Cynthia is uh, probably one who was the most appreciative because she wanted to write thank you cards back to you. Um, so I asked her if she'd like to be in this video with me. I'm going to let her thank you now, okay? This is Cynthia. Hi, everybody. I want to thank everybody for the lovely cards. It, it, they're wonderful. I, I don't want to throw them out because I like reading them. And especially the joke. I got a joke here. Why did the orange lose the way, race? And it says, because he ran out of juice. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like that one? Yeah, that, that one's that, our favorite. That's my favorite. And I have uh, other ones. They all are very thoughtful very cheerful and i'm so glad you guys are thinking of us here and uh <laughs> well and that letter was from paula <laughs> hi my name is jenna pacini and i work at sun valley senior veteran apartment in california we have been receiving letters against isolation for over a year and we've received about 1200 letters we service uh, over 96 residents. They are seniors. They were formerly homeless 
just about a year ago and now they're in permanent housing. So your letters have not only provided hope and inspiration during the pandemic and during a time of isolation, but have also provided such a unique experience for our residents who have been homeless, who, which when you are homeless, you can encounter loss of family, friendships, and as a senior, you know, being an older person, you may no longer have many people in your life. So to receive these letters has been such a blessing and we are appreciative. We are able to provide the letters via the mailbox or in person when we deliver door to door. The smiles are enormous and you can tell it makes their hearts feel full to have connections with the United States, with artists, with loving folks who have written such beautiful inspirational messages, who have drawn such beautiful photos, who have written from the view of their fur puppies, which is so fun. And you have really brought some light to our facility. Thank you so much for Letters Against Isolation. Hello everyone, this is Mike. I'm coming from Future Care Canton Harbor. We are on the east side of Baltimore. We are right next to the Inner Harbor. We can see the water from our building and right across from us is Fort McHenry. So it's a pretty cool location. Um, we've been receiving the letters, isolation letters for some time. We get usually a stack in the mail. Um, the residents love them. They love getting them, they look forward to them. Um, and they're really long, that's good. It's just not like get well soon, but they really love the letters. They love reading them, they keep them and they read them again. I've read a few, they're very nice, they're very informative, they're very friendly, I love them. The residents love them. They get, sometimes they put little puzzles or something in there for them, so they love it. Um, usually I give it to the higher functioning folks and I just try to spread them out throughout the building. Um, keep them coming, they love it. We've been stuck in our rooms pretty much for the past year. Just this week, we've been able to get back to the day hall, the beautician can come in now. Um, we're doing visits inside with family members, so things are gradually turning around. But keep the letters coming because they love getting mail. They love hearing from other people. They love seeing all the different states, Colorado, Florida, all the different places. And thanks very much. My name is Alisa. I am Tim Gibson. My name is Ellen. We are the volunteer coordinators. I enjoy it when we do our Zoom parties and we have little breakout rooms mm -hmm. so that I can talk to possibly some new volunteers and just give them some pointers as uh, somebody who's been doing it for a little while, give them some heads up giving them some ideas of what to write. Mm -hmm. um, I always like to suggest, ask them some questions. You know, you won't know the answer, but it stimulates their brain a little bit to think about where they came from, what they like to eat, what their pets' names were, where they lived, stuff like that always helps with, with um, an, older, an older brain. To add to what Tim said, having worked in the field, you don't just see that 90-year-old person in a wheelchair who's, ha who's fractured their hip. What Tim is saying is very true. This person had a past, they had, a li they had children, they worked, they traveled, and you know, that's who they were. They're not, they weren't always an old person who needed taking care of. Mm -hmm. So I think it's in really important to acknowledge 
that those past lives and past accomplishments and mm -hmm. to be reminded of how significant their lives have been. This little one says, uh, do you like cats? I do. I like cats and dogs. And, and uh, in our, raising our kids, we had, I don't know how many cats or that we had two dogs, one right after the other. And uh, we always had tar turtle, a guinea pig. Wow. A hamsters, gerbils, goldfish, you name it. You name it. You name it, we had it. Wow. <laughs> so um, I've seen a lot of email questions from volunteers asking, do our letters arrive and how do people react? How do those seniors react to our letters? So I wanted to share a card I got from Bailey Chase Assisted Living, which is a facility in Maryland. And here's what they wrote. We would like to thank you for your cards. The jokes and fun dates brought us laughter at a time when laughter was much needed. Mm -hmm. So you guys, you're all making a difference. Mm -hmm. I was so excited to receive this thank you card. I could only imagine how excited the seniors are to receive all of our letters every week. So thank you, volunteers. A lot of, we all function on endorphins. And when you know and you look forward to something coming, yeah. you get excited. And that feeling of anticipation is oh. incredible. Oh. And then you get it. And then you keep looking at it. And you keep, a lot of people revisit their cards and letters. And connecting to your point about endorphins, Elisa, the activities director at one of the facilities in Massachusetts said that now it's part of the day, the senior's routine each day to watch for the mailman. Oh. So they know that the letters are coming. Oh, really wow. That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Hi, everyone. Um, this is my grandma, Ba, and she has been self-isolating in her home since the 7th of March in last year. And she is the person who inspired us to start Letters Against Isolation. So um, now that it's our first year anniversary of the organization, I thought we could interview Ba about um, how she feels. And now she's also receiving the letters and cards and how that makes her feel. How did it make you feel when you opened all these cards? When you open these, it, it's thrill, you know, like uh, you, you got a, you, I won a prize like a jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> and it is so nice to see a post coming through the letter box and all this isolation later for the senior citizen and the cards and everything. So I enjoy and I always think about them, how busy they are doing their work and plus they are sending all this later. Yeah. It is, the experience is out of this world. <laughs> I'll show you a little bit my collection <laughs> over the last 13 months later. Wow. This is all I keep in, in my window shield. The beautiful cards. Yes, yeah, so beautiful cards, all of them. Christmas, my Diwali, mm -hmm. Happy New Year. Mm -hmm. For and I'm going to treasure all of this card rest of my life. Oh. And then I'm going to pass it on to my great grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the COVID letters. Can you tell us a little bit more about um, how your neighbors have reacted to the letters? Everybody are so happy where I live. They give me a call and say, Mina, we received the card. One of the, his name is David Young. Mm -hmm. Whenever he received the card, he calls me, Mina, I received the card from America or Singapore. He discussed about it and now he had a one pen friend. Oh. So they write to each other and yeah. he's always happy and so one year after you inspired Letters Against Isolation, we have now sent over 175,000 letters and cards to seniors around the world. How does it make you feel that the joy that the card that you received a year ago from your friend has now been spread with so many other seniors who have also been isolating and feeling lonely this year? 175,000 letters, this looks like so many. Yeah. Can you imagine all these people receiving senior citizen? They are in an isolation period and they receive the card from all over the world. Yeah. I cannot imagine that how happy they look. And I always think that world is 
becoming a small world now in my sanskrit language it says vasudeva kutumbakam mm -hmm. that means the world is a one big family this pandemic has made every everybody together yeah they looking for family they helping each other yeah. something come out new yeah and we are be happy to have like this everybody is asking you can i help you you want something in this way we if we pandemic never happen mm -hmm. covid never happen i don't think so people were so busy in their own work yeah so this way the world became one world one family and they want to help each other i hope that this what happened good thing will stay forever and ever and ever we look for each other me too help uh, young generation help senior citizen yeah and senior citizen give blessing that you be happy lucky and wishing you that you do whatever you want to achieve in the world go ahead world is yours <laughs> problem <laughs> comes and go but we if we stay united help each other look after each other then we'll survive yeah so many centuries every century something is coming and we face them we challenge them and we come out of here this corona got no choice to stay for longer it will go <laughs> one day and we all be happy again and do whatever we like this week you've got something exciting coming up would you like to share what it is with us Oh this morning I had a phone call from my surgery mm -hmm. and my nurse says she is coming to come and give me second vaccine on Wednesday morning at past 10 no. I was over the joy looking forward I, th I think I hit a jackpot to wear the mask mm -hmm. stay hygiene and stay happy and lucky and send us little like this please don't discontinue us we want more later all, all over again and again and again <laughs> Hey everybody, I have a parody for you. Well, I'm the type of guy who likes to send them smiles. Sending off my letters, sending all those smiles. I use some stickers too, they lift away the gloom. I send them pretty pictures to brighten up the room. Cause I'm with L-A-I, yeah, L-A-I. The notes go round and round and round and round and round. Across the land from town to town. Goes a lot of happiness that makes them happy. Oh, as a lark, when there's a very funny joke or a poem and a card, well, I'll be the type of gal who sends a kindly word, send off some of those letters, a way to have love heard. And when you find yourself with nothing left to write, check for inspiration on the L A I site. Yeah, we're L A I. Yeah. Letters against I so 